Hello, thank you for joining me today for this very short time of prayer. It's really good, isn't it, to make the time and to force ourselves just to pause just for a few minutes and let God take over during the day. So let's pray. Shine on us, Lord, like the sun that lights up day. Chase away the dark and all shadow of sin. May we wake eager to hear your word. As day follows night, may we be bathed in your glory. So our reading today is from Paul's first letter to the Christians at Corinth. Now, the church at Corinth is a really good example of how without proper leadership and authority, a church can really get it wrong. And so Paul writes to them, giving them some really basics about how they should behave, what they should stop doing and what it all means. And so here we are on chapter 11, which contains some really familiar and really important words. Now in the following instructions, I do not commend you because when you come together, it is not for the better, but for the worse. For to begin with, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and to some extent, I believe it. Indeed, there have to be factions among you, for only so will it become clear who among you are genuine. When you come together, it is not really to eat the Lord's Supper. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry and another becomes drunk. What, do you not have homes to eat and drink in, or do you show contempt for the church of God and humiliate those who have nothing? What should I say to you? Should I commend you? In this matter I do not commend you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner, will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves, and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body, eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined, so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you are hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things... I will give instructions when I come. So Paul spends a lot of this letter to the Corinthians telling them off and then telling them what they should do better. And here he is really tackling the division and saying, you know, you shouldn't have any animosity or any unforgiveness in your heart before you eat and drink of the bread and wine. And that's a lesson for us, that when we come to the Lord's Supper, when we come back to the Lord's Supper after this pandemic time, 
will we do so with lighter hearts? Let's pray. Lord, we offer you all we are, all we have, all we do, and all whom we shall meet to this day, that you will be given the glory. We offer you our homes and work, our schools and leisure, and everyone in our community today. May all be done as unto you. We offer you the broken and hungry. We offer you the despondent, the anxious. We offer you the poor. We offer you the sick. We offer you all who care for them. Lord, may you build them up. May you heal them. May you give them hope and strength. And may they know your presence with them. May the wealth and work of the world be available to all and for the exploitation of none. And may your presence be known to all. And so we come to our circle prayer. And we ask, circle us, Lord. Keep strife without. Keep peace within. Keep fear without. Keep hope within. Keep pride without. Keep trust within. Keep evil out. Keep good within. May we walk in the hope of your kingdom. Fill us with your light and love. Be with us all through this day, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. So a very short time of prayer, um, but like I said, it's good to stop every day and just spend a few minutes with God. So God bless you and those you love and I'll see you soon.